Welcome back to the corner of Manager Bay. My guest today, Dan Phillips with All Things Wild. How, How are you? you? Thanks How for you? coming on. Uh, we, well, I should say we called you. We didn't even really. I overheard you talking to one of our producers about the big rat snake that was found in the backyard uh, in uh, Heathwood mm -hmm. last week. And I said, ah, send him my way. I want to have him on. We've all seen the pictures, and it looks like there's a giant anaconda in somebody's tree is what it looks like. Tell us, tell us what, what, what happened. One of my friends had seen a story on the internet and said that no one could find help. So we showed up and asked if we could help. And it's my belief that the snake is somewhere between 8 and maybe 11 feet, probably somewhere in the 9 to 10 foot range. Um, and it's about as big around as a forearm. Um, it's a big snake, but it is a native snake. Um, the reason why I believe this snake hasn't been seen again is because um, he's probably living in the sewers. Uh, in all truth, a snake that large is probably 15 to 20 years old, and in order for it to be that old, it's going to have to have avoided people. You know, essentially this is a large constrictor. He is not venomous. Um, the pictures that I see depicted a black rat snake. Um, so he's down in the sewers having a good time with all the rats down there. More than likely, I would imagine that in a populated area like that, the animal has to be living underground in order to have avoided being seen before now. I have never in my life heard of a rat snake being that big. Um, I've caught one at least nine feet up on the Chattooga River um, at the Georgia-South Carolina border. On average, a, a black rat snake doesn't get over about six feet. Um, they're very common species of snake we have here in South Carolina, all over the Midlands especially. Probably one of the more common snakes that I get for calls when we have to go out and deal with a snake problem. And you have two of the other common snakes <laughs> with you. What, have you got what I have here is um, a black racer, and we'll pull that one out first. Okay. I'm going to stay behind the <laughs> glass partition that you can't see here. All right, so this snake is, uh, again, non-venomous. Um, they're pretty, uh, they can be pretty active. Hence the ter term racer, right? Yes. See, that's the snake that I've seen in my neighborhood a lot. And this is probably a four-foot snake or so. Yeah. And as you can see, this snake has a white chin and a black underbelly and then a solid black back. And behind the tail, do you see how there's two rows of, uh, of scales on the belly? Uh-huh. And one row of scales uh, in, front of the yeah. in front of the tail. Um, this indicates a non-venomous snake okay, in South Carolina as well. Show, I don't know if anybody that. can see that, but if you ever you kill judge, a snake, you can, you can look at that. that. But we, su we suggest they don't <clears> kill I suggest you don't kill a snake. All right, um, and so what else have you got? So let me get that. So that's, I've seen a lot of those in and around my, not in my house, but in my neighborhood. And they do, they, uh, they do move pretty quickly. And that black racer feeds mostly on small reptiles like uh, lizards, skinks, um, which is a type of lizard, anole is a type of lizard, and different type of frogs and things like that. And this is the one you said people confuse for water This moccasin. is one that is oftentimes confused for a water moccasin. And these are pretty mean snakes. I mean, this snake is a aggressive style of snake. Oh, yeah, he does. I would have thought he was a water moccasin. And you see his shape? Yeah. He's thicker. He's, um, again, can you see his round pupil? Yeah, he's gorgeous, though, isn't yeah. he? This is uh, a... Yeah, perfectly round, and that means non-venomous. This is a non-venomous snake, except for, like I said, the okay. coral snake. So the snake can't really just, you know, jump 10 feet and grab you. Um, most people think that every snake should be killed, but if you kill all the snakes, we're going to have more of a rat problem here in Columbia. Mm -hmm. And we do have a rat problem in Columbia. If you don't know about it, it's just because you haven't experienced it yet. <laughs> I know. Well, I'll tell you what, I would shake your hand, but I know what it did to your hand, so I'm not going to. I will give you a nice little salute and say we'll be right back. Have a good Stay day. With us.